So I said we were going to wait until the event, until we pull, just so that we can see the thresholds and everything as to what is going to be needed as a free-to-play or just pay-to-play player to get the rewards that they are going to be giving you during these events. It seems like they've also updated the newbie summon pack. I'm not sure 10 summon crystals, 2 meal coupons, 500 diamonds for $5. I would say if you have this, I would definitely purchase this if you are looking to purchase. That's definitely worth the value. Uh, this also could be worth it. This will give you a five star and then uh, work on the next four. This will give you, what is that? Uh, four, four stars, uh, newbie hero pack. I've heard she's great, wonderful, but we're not here for that. Nonetheless. So let's do a quick update. So right now we did the Yolandas. We are now in the hero summoning event. The one that I've been waiting on to summon for. And it's followed by an energy cost and gear collection. So basically they're saying summon to your heart's content. And then we are going to reward you for spending that energy to get gear so that you can deck out your heroes. Wonderful. Hero promotion. Um, this starts in six days. There was the rookie hero promotion. And I said everybody should hop on and get it as much as you can. But for some reason mine stopped at 670. Uh, I wish I took a screenshot, but I couldn't. So, nonetheless, I'm not upset about it. I already got through it all the one time, but, you know, it is what it is. You know, sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. But, let wait, wait, wait. Let's look at what the... You idiot. Let's look at what the summoning event entails. So, you need 4,000 of these, uh, the diamonds, I would say, um, to reach a charm, which you really want charms in this game. So... Let's see what they are. So one of the advanced cr summoning crystals is 100. So you're going to want 40 pulls is what they're saying to get the max. Okay. That's not bad. I've been saving and I think we're close to where we have it. Um, doing this. We'll get two coupons, some jellies. Some three stars, a terror ring. We don't know what it could roll, but it's a legendary five star, a four star uh, pumpkin, some more gear charms, 100 diamonds. That's always nice to see. Premium elemental chest. Again, this is something I'm not fully aware and knowledgeable on with the chests. You get five of them, though. Um, I haven't messed with them at all. If anybody knows what they do, if anybody recommends using them in a certain way, please let me know. Uh, we got Terra, we got the Terra Chain, which is another legendary necklace in this case. And we get another four star pumpkin, followed by the special gear charm five. Now I'm going to be real with you. Because of how expensive these events can be, I do not think that the value is quite there. Am I going to pull on it? Yes, I am. However, I don't know if two RNG based items is really worth it. I do think that the charms are good, but it's just not like exciting. It's not exciting, you know, like I want to be excited. I want to be like, yes, we got this, that and the other. Wow, let's go. But we didn't. Um, so let's look at our summons. Go over to our little guy over here. We are at 42. So we're going to do 40 summons and we're going to save the rest. Let's turn down the volume a little bit. Um, I'm not somebody who gets over ecstatic when I get when I get a pull, so don't expect like over the top, you know, expectations or whatever from how I'm gonna react. But first, ten times, let's go. Okay, blue. Oh, okay, okay. There's gonna be at least an epic in here. Hackron. Hackron is, I think, a um. Hakron's one of the ones that you can fuse for, am I right? So let's see what Hakron does. Uh, grants a team wide defense bonus equal to 10% of this character's defense rating. Okay, so he's a good tank. Deals 40% damage to an enemy with a 50% chance to reduce the cooldown of this character's ultimate ability. Okay. Uh, that goes up to 70% or no, 80% chance. Okay. Uh, then it has a taunt, one turn, scales with defense, one 20% damage to enemy and grants max health up to all. You know, actually, he's pretty good. He's a defensive buffing teammate with a taunt. That's that's a good, good.
good pull, good pull. And we do want dupes. We do. We do want dupes. Uh, so none of this is bad. None of this is bad. I actually don't even... I don't even remember getting this guy, to be honest. But yeah, he's a he's a turtle. He's a turtle. <laughs> All right, next we got three more of these. Let's go. Okay, we got blue. Okay, so this is just gonna be rare and fodder. Um, but that does not mean it's necessarily not good, because we want to get. I think it's Valak. Um, it might be Milago. I don't know the other ones quite yet, but we need to get a few of them to three stars and then have them up ascended to three as well. So not a big deal. We weren't, we're not expecting to get something crazy each time. We already got our one dwarf guy that looks pretty cool. I'm content with that. Now let's do another 10 times. Okay, blue. Oh, okay, so it's going to be at least an epic here. Jacob. Okay, Jacob, interesting. So when we were doing our rerolls, Jacob was one of the ones that I thought was really cool that I thought we might go with. And also, we got two Maliks here, which Malik is something I need for a fusion, if I'm not mistaken. So that's good. Let's look at what Jacob does, though. So Jacob grants stealth at the start of battle, permanently grants invisible perm... Permanently grants invisible permanent, just in case you didn't know that that's what permanent means. Uh, this character cannot be targeted by an enemy. Effect is removed when attacked. Well, if an AoE, AoE hits him. His A1, uh, it does minus 5 to defense, and it stacks to 20, so negative 100 defense. Uh, it deals 6% damage to an enemy with a 30% chance to apply intrigue. Grants his character one rain, one rage. Uh, I'm not quite sure how that all works, but Rain selects one ally at the start of every round. Every time that ally uses a basic ability, this character launches a joint attack with their own basic ability. Pretty good. Joint attacks are always good. Madness using abilities boosts attacks. Expends all rage to enter a state of madness. Grant one bonus turn for every one rage spent. Exits the madness state after all burn turns are used up. He seems like he could be fun. I like his design. Um, not to compare or anything like that, but uh, for for example, League of Legends, they have Jin, and he's a um, he uses a gun, and he has a very similar like faces crooked and stuff like that but this is a design that so many things before league used but it kind of reminds me of that that's all um so overall this is good because we definitely got some dupes that we need because i'm gonna my goal for this account is i'm gonna get everybody to three star ascended and then i'll start using fodder using them as fodder i mean so right now right it looks like we're doing pretty well all right so our last 10 times let's go Okay, okay, okay. Oh, we got a ye we got we got yellow, at least an elite. Sierra. Okay. And a Helmer to boot. Okay. Okay, I see you, Sierra. Now let's look at what Sierra does. Now I'll be honest with you, I love Sierra's design. I absolutely love her design. Um, just the way she looks, because she's just, she's just mommy. <laughs> they, mommy? <laughs> um, let's see what she does, though, because I never under, I never knew what she did. I just loved the way that she looked. So, for her passive, she grants one vengeful spirit. She can get six of them upon defeat of an enemy. Okay. 5% uh, attack and it's stackable. Ascension will grant one vengeful spirit to max six stacks upon the defeat of an enemy. Okay, next one increased damage taken deals 80% damage to an enemy and applies increased damage taken for one turn. So it's kind of like an expose. She kind of exposes them. All right, that's understandable. And then dark spread when the enemy's health is under 50% deal 70% damage to all enemies can only be triggered once every three turns so that's weird so if you attack the person that's under 50% since it's a passive does it just immediately do 70% damage to all enemies as well it's something I'm gonna have to try out um 
and expends all vengeful spirit and deals 180% damage to an enemy. This attack deals 10% bonus damage for vengeful spirit expended. So she seems like she's a wave clearer. I'm not, I don't want to say that for sure though, because I don't know fully how she works. The only negative thing is that I have a lot of water units to work on. So let me know if you've made it to this point in the video if i should work on her if she if you think that maybe she replaces one of my other characters you know that would be wonderful if um that's the case and uh where i should put her she has good crit rate good attack um the rest are her average stats and then we also got helmar let's look at him he's an epic he kind of looks cool i can't remember i can't I can't picture, I can't put my finger on what it is that he looks like. But let's see what his skills are. It's a lot of blood, so I wonder if it's a lot of leeching. Attacks have a 20% chance to grant a bonus attack with this character's special ability. Okay, it ascended, it's 50% chance. Next one is deals 70% chance to an enemy with a 50% chance to apply bleeding, uh, which goes up to 100% chance. Okay, that's good. Um, it deals 40% damage to an enemy and applies bleeding. If the enemy is affected by bleeding, applies an extra stack of bleeding. Okay. Um, that's good. So you're A1, A2. And then what is his A3? Deals 120% damage to an enemy and detonates all of their bleeding effects. At the end of the turn, deals damage based on the caster's attack. And his attack is pretty decent. Okay. He's water, and I'm going to be honest with you, unless somebody tells me, wow, he's amazing, I'm probably going to sit on him for a while because I just have so many water units to go for right now um but this is a good pull i'm really glad i did not expect to get a legendary not one that was so nice this is one of the ones that i definitely wanted that i saw every once in a while that people had um so we got sierra we got helmar we got some other good ones and so now we can go over to our events oh whoops Let's go over to our events and we can claim our items so here our summoning event we finished this event pretty easily 20k jelly some meal meal coupons some pumpkins double xp the tear ring can we see yet no pumpkin i want to see if we can go check those rings and uh, necklaces real quick um so let me just grab this real quick the premium battle uh el premium elemental chest that's another thing i'm a little bit confused by but yeah we'll get there there's the necklace, four star holy pumpkin, and the special charm. Those will all go into good use. So uh, let's go see. This is the premium elemental. It contains a ram elemental obsidians use. Oh, this isn't the one I was even thinking of. The one I was thinking of was for these. Never mind. Um, okay, we got this. It's not going to be in here, is it? No. Gear. Okay, so these two are what we got. So first one, health. 15% health. That's good to have health on health. Defense, a percentage of defense. And then flat stat attack health and defense. Hmm. Not the greatest it could have rolled. Let's check out the ring. Health. And again, not the greatest. I wonder if that is guaranteed to give you that. Because they both have the same stats, you know? Either way, though. These are five stars, and they're going to find a place on my team, you know? They're definitely going to find a place on my team. Uh, so, now that we have our summoning out of the way, our, and we know now that we're probably going to be working on a Ciara, I want to just do a quick little update on what our account is looking like, because, you know, it's doing pretty good. Oh, yeah. I also wanted to do it so that we can uh, get an extra one of these, because it said, you know, you go do your pulls. Um so, the, so there we go there's our excuse as to why uh right now we are up to two million coins i don't think that we're gonna have any issue with coins i i don't see issues with coins i i don't know if there's gonna be a different change in what it is that coins are used for but it's just it's not there uh achievements claim that claim 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 Claim. Wow, we got some jellies. Maybe we can get some uh, ranks up too. I'll update uh, who I rank up next time. Are you with me though that in the lobby that it would be kind of cool if you can replace like this character 
with or the one sitting back here with a character that you own that just kind of chilling and waiting for you because i've got some really cool favorite ones that i would love to just have on the home screen when you're you know it's where we're hanging out all the time it would be wonderful if we could do that so anyways let's go to heroes I shall rule this land. so Hydrosia, we have gotten her to 60. Nice. And we got Nath Nathalia. The Book of Runes preserves we ended up pushing her to uh, 60 as well, but she's only 52. We're going to slowly take our time to get her to 60. Uh, I'm not quite sure what sets I want to put on her yet. Uh, Celestial Kane. I love him. Celestial Kane is getting me through content. When everybody else dies, he just heals himself and does it slowly. He does it slowly, but he does it surely. Urzag, he's on the back burner. We're not using him. Uh, he's He doesn't feel good to use, but then we have Myla. Myla is definitely somebody that's up there with my team. However, now that we have Sierra... We're looking at some new stuff. We've got Sierra. We've got <laughs> Jacob. We've got Asrina. We got Irondil. We got Santis. We got Hakron. Alec. Abbott. I come to cleanse um, and Helmar. Yeah, Helmar. Virgil. Okay. I, I don't know which direction I should be going for next. I guess right now we're at like a standstill. I have, I think I have decent characters, but where should I be pushing? You know, I don't want to waste a bunch of energy on something that's pretty negligible at best. You know, um, our arena, we've been pushing in silver pretty well. And that's, that is what it is um we're not doing crazy good there but at the same time maybe i should make an arena team uh maybe i should look at maybe what i'll do is i'll go through the arena and see what kind of affinities people are using which i assume a lot of people that are pushing arena are probably using like light and dark units so that there's no like um weakness or uh negative effects against one another but nonetheless we're only silver so i'm sure we can get through to silver uh training remember to keep doing that every day uh we're up to 6400 gems because we have not been using gems other than to refill on stamina every once in a while i stopped using meal coupons because i saw somebody post that it's possible that the meal coupons are going to get buffed and have it so that they might add an extra 10 energy or something i don't quote me on that that could be completely wrong but you know at the end of the day some, at some point i'm gonna run out of the coupons anyways so i might as well just use the gems wait and see what goes on with that um otherwise i guess what we're gonna do is we are gonna do a single summon to end it off so let's see if we get really lucky with our last summon ah darn okay zachary you know zachary someone told me that zachary's really good but yeah let me know what you guys think tell me what i should be where i would where you would be focusing on at this point in the game because we are all over the place we are so all over the place we've, we've got endless trial we're stuck at 50 no man's land we're not that far deep in adventure we haven't even started mythic yet man but we're getting there we are getting there i wanted to wait and see from these pulls what exactly we were going to be able to do so without further ado i'll see you next time guys take care